but it concerns me that you occasionally hit behind the ball and the, the tight lie. Now, contact can always be understood in terms of steep and shallow. You want kind of an equal number of both, okay? You know, just so that they fit nicely together. If you're hitting behind the ball, would you guess that you're too steep or too shallow as far as the delivery of the club? I would guess I'm too shallow. Too shallow. Okay, so when you're self-coaching at home, if you're too shallow, we need to throw in a steep element or two. If you're too steep, we'll throw in a too shallow. Now, the, the primary issue for you is your setup, probably okay. 80 to 90%. So when we're uh, trying to be weak on purpose, I like a narrow stance. I like okay. the foot flare. Okay? okay, and when you turn your left foot open, yep. that appears like your feet are a little left. So go ahead and address this ball. Just stand okay. up tall. Yep. Okay, flare your left foot. Yep. Now, that allows for what looks like a little open stance, correct? Left foot's pointed slightly left. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just going to place a club here along the target line, okay. okay, as kind of a plane indicator. All right. Because your setup is closed, in my opinion, and then the plane comes inside. So go ahead and address that ball, if you would. Okay. So yeah. nice narrow stance. Nice Now, all I want you to do is stand up like you're talking, talking to the audience, okay? okay? Now, from here, just turn your button slightly in front of the ball. Yeah. And from there, you're just going to bend over. So go ahead and bend over. Now, your head's going to feel a lot more forward than it was. Yeah, it does. Okay, put the club behind the ball. Okay. I always feel like where the sternum points yep. marks the low point. Okay. Now, the next issue will be just to swing on plane. Because the uh, chest was a little closed, it was coming inside. So all I want to see you do is take your right hand off. Take right hand off. Right, and we're going to do a left arm only swing and just put it right here in my hand. If the club's controlled by your left arm here, the club will always be outside your hand and you'll see some extension in there. And we did that in the gym. We worked on a little like bit. Like a little cup there. Yeah. yeah. So let's try it with two hands. Okay. Okay, so sternum in front. Sternum in front. Right there. Perfect. Now just be your amazing self, which was rhythm, thoughts about where you're going to land it, okay? Okay. I call this block practice. Or just thinking about your technique. There's your low point. Back swing plane and a nice pitch. And okay. you felt the rhythm, right? Yeah. Let's, now let's pull another ball, and that could be part of your procedure. Just stand up. Stand up. Turn your turn. pointer in front of so the ball. We, and we're, we're turning our button so that my low point is right. in front of the ball, right? It is exactly right. And we're trying not to do it with your lower body, your hips. We're really trying to do it more with your upper. Okay, okay. so and if my low point is back, that's yeah. where I am heading. So your, your old setup was head behind, and that's a very common mistake at home, okay. you know, and that okay. causes, moves the low point back, Got creating it. too shallow. Okay, so low point in front, stand, stand up, stand up, turn, turn your pointer, and that's just on plane stand delivery, up. which you know what that is. Ooh, that was the best one, pinch. And all that was, was realizing that swing was too shallow. Yep. Thinking about what creates a steep. Well, the more I go this way, that's a steep. Yep. The more I go this way, is a shallow. So. If somebody was too steep yep. at home, and, and the only shot they had was, you know, they're digging, yes. and they're, you know, can't get the ball up in the air, yep. well, then maybe they're too loud. Right. So, so, check, or typically, yet probably usually too outside. Got it. So you bring up an important point, because a lot of times at home, you know, we hear the term steep or over the top, right? but in chipping, you kind of need to be that way. Well... You cannot be under. You cannot be too inside. Okay, too inside. Because too under. So the one place that you can't be would be inside with a closed club face. That's right, because you're be really good at hitting bump and runs, but that's about it. Yes, or to get the ball, a lot of times when you see that mistake, that too shallow mistake, and the club's going to stick into the ground, and yeah. they're afraid of the turf, so what they'll do is they get like a, a little knee dip or a knee dive to make up for that move. Got it. So one of the things that you had there that I loved was the lower body stability. You were very yep. tall. Yep. You bent over, and the lower half doesn't act as a power source like it would in a full swing. So if we're in a full swing, we're you're generating the power. The, react, the the purpose of the lower body now is balance. It's stability. It's this. So it's, we're actually using more of the club and the arms. Yes, you're using the arms and the chest more so than the lower half. The lower half reacts or responds to that, which allows you to have balance. Oh, that's allows for a weak purpose. Now, the next issue, so when we practice your mechanics, we might set up a little jig like this. Okay, yep. You go through Some a little alignment. procedure, you're 100% positive, let's say after four or five shots, that your setup is good, yep. that your plane is right, and you're getting the contact you want. Okay. But that's not golf. No, it's not. That's not golf. That's not. Time to play golf, and it's time to practice golf. Got it. Time to trust your training, Dave. Got so it. So this is what I want you to do this time. Stand yep. here with me. Yep. I want you to visualize your shot. Okay. Got your landing spot? I do. Okay, time to trust your training. You can take okay. your time to set up correctly, but other than that, what you really need to do is just think about where you want to land the ball, the energy to the landing spot, and what side of the cup this ball is going to go in at. Oh, that was the best one. Oh, go ahead. Go in. Oh, now. That was great. The thing I like about that was your focus was on 
that. That's yeah. the important thing. What a lot of people do at home is they think because I'm improving my swing that that's how I play golf. That's right. But no, that's learning to improve your swing, and that's unrelated.